gentlemen, welcome to the Pro League Qualifier Draw Show. Hopefully you all enjoyed your holidays. I know uh, we did as well. Joining myself, Benson, is going to be uh, Momo, Merck, and Nameless. We're excited for Call of Duty action to kick off. And uh, behind us, a brand new set which will be uh, unveiling at the Pro League Qualifier. You guys can't see it, but uh, we've seen it. And I can tell you, it's pretty special, that's for sure. But uh, Nameless, you're our expert ball drawer now whenever we do our, uh, our pool shows. You've given us some pretty good pools in the past. Uh, and honestly, I'm excited to see what you give us uh, here today. It's going to be crazy. Crazy for sure, it's these teams' last chance to make it into the league, and these pulls are going to be a big factor in that, so we'll see what we draw up, but it's going to be crazy. And it is worth mentioning, you may see an extra couple of pots here. That's because the format is a little bit different. Of course, uh, we're going to have four groups of seven, which is uh, drastically different. Mark, yeah, that, it saying. absolutely is. 28 teams, they qualified from uh, Vegas, you know, based on their placings. The top four teams from Vegas aren't here, right? They've already qualified and solidified their spot into the Pro League, but it's the next 28 that'll be here, and only 12 teams will qualify out of those 28. I mean, you would say we have probably the rest of the, the best in the world right now from all over the world. It's going to be an exciting week. Of course, the Pro League qualified January 16th uh, through the 20th. A lot of pressure uh, here, Phil, for, for these teams fighting for their spot in the Pro League. And, and I think it's important to say, you know, no matter how well you played at Vegas, it's now, yes, you, you're in the top 32, you've made it here, but it's now the time to shine. You've got to get this yeah. last spot. You've got to get to the Pro League qualifier. Uh, they're here. Can they go that one step further? Some won't, some will, but it's time to find out. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, in terms of pot A, that is going to consist of just two teams. That's Team Sween and Lightning Pandas. That's because uh, they finished fifth, sixth at Vegas. So without further ado, uh, Nameless, can you draw our first team? You know I got you. And it is Team Sween. Okay, so Team Sween, they will slide on in to uh, Pool A, that means Lightning Pandas, they will go over to Pool B. And uh, just to quickly talk about Lightning Pandas uh, as a team, Joe, they're uh, kind of a squad which I'll hold my hands up myself and say I kind of underestimated them a little bit, but they gave us a good showing in Vegas. I, I think Team Sweden as well, right? When you looked at Europe coming into this year, Reciprocity, Red Reserve, those were the two big teams out of Europe that we thought were going to make a huge splash at Vegas. They didn't. They got outperformed by yeah. these couple of teams. And yeah, I think for Lightning Pandas, a couple of guys, Mad Cat and Josh, they're very excited for this roster. Can't wait to see them perform at the Early qualifier. Obviously, Team Sweden, a, a great performance from them in Vegas, Phil. Did you expect to see them to qualify? Uh, I expected them to, to be here, you know, that top 32, but I did not expect them to be in that fifth, sixth spot. Neither Lightning Pandas, and I think that was a surprise for everyone. Uh, but I think it just kind of made a statement for these guys where, you you know, you get the game at the same time as everyone else. It's the grind. It's the, the beginning of the game. We saw, obviously, last year, the likes of TK pick it up really quickly. These guys, they did so too. Okay, well, that's pot A done and dusted. Pop B, that consists of Evil Geniuses and Straight Rippin'. Of course, they will uh, be drawn into C and D. Nameless. Woohoo, Straight Rippin'. Okay, so the Straight Rippin', they fall uh, into Pool C for Evil Geniuses. They now will go into Pool D. And again, there were two teams, uh, Joe, who had a great performance at Vegas. They absolutely did. I think uh, a lot of hype for straight, this Straight Rippin' roster, right? It's yeah. basically having everyone sort of making their comeback to the top. They performed very, very well. Again, they had to get into pools on Thursday before Vegas. They were able to do that. And then, yeah, they performed very well. But EG, a team, they get top eight, but they still go through with the roster change. They're able to pick up for Facento from G2. We'll have to see how they perform. How big of an effect do you think that is uh, actually going to be there for? Uh, I think, again, you know, making the roster change that they did was, you know, people will question it. People think why and um, what have they done. But again, it, it's what mistakes they could have improved on. For these four, obviously, we know the likes of Revan working with them as well. That, that's a team decision. You know, yeah. they, they saw flaws in their own gameplay and they thought Fesento may be a better fit. And honestly, I, I wish the best for them. I think these these guys can push, but it's how far, you know, can they get to that top six, that top yeah. four? But again, a great showing in Vegas. Well, a very important event for them as the rest of the teams. But we'll move on at Pot C. This consists of Team Reciprocity, Team Envious, Red Reserve, and 100 Thieves. And the fact that this load down is a, <laughs> a, a little scary, I'll be honest, and not what a lot of people expected. Uh, but then we should join the first team. Red Reserve. That is going to be Red Reserve. And obviously, Joe, you talked about the, the other European European teams outside of uh, Sweden Lightning Pandas. Red Reserve was a squad which we kind of expected to do a little bit better than they did. When's it going to happen, Ben? They got the roster they wanted. They got the fifth they wanted. They, got, they wanted Bans. They got him. They have all the talent in the world. We saw it last year. They got the championship finals. When are they going to win a they title? That's the big question I for me. I think they look better now online recently. A lot of we got places. 100 Thieves now. Okay, 100 Thieves drawn as well. So two teams left there uh, in Pot C. That's Reciprocity and Team Envious. But uh, 100 Thieves, another team, Phil, who's had their Woes online. I, I think 100 Thieves and Red Reserve, you know, coming up to this part of the year, both of them un underachieved, you know, not seen the best of them, but two talented rosters, which, as you see, go into C and D. They, again, will look at their pools and think, you know, we're, we're happy with this so far, but more pools and more teams, of course, to be drawn. 
And of course, if this is your uh, first pool draw show, you'll know it's a bit of a reverse snake draft, if you will. So DC means Team Envious. Now they will be drawn into Pool B, which leaves Team Reciprocity left in that pot C. And if you do the honors, they will fall into Pool A. So already fun to see uh, our pools develop a little bit, but plenty of other teams still to go. Yeah, it is. Obviously, when you look at these sort of first eight teams, these are the heavy hitters, sort of the, the quality matches that we'll see. But for these guys, they just have to survive. If you do get top two in your pool, right, you automatically do qualify. But there we go. We could take a look. I mean, there's some very good matches. You know, Lightning Pandas versus Team Envious. That should be a fun one. Heck, even Team Sween versus Reciprocity. That's a bit of an EU showdown. Can't Let's, wait for that. Yeah. Uh, again, ex-teammates going up against each other in A. Uh, but again, I think all rounds, you know, so far so good. But... Uh, like you said, some heavy hitters already drawn. Interesting to see them so far, but absolutely insane. All right, moving on. Pot D, that consists of Phase Clan, UYU, G2 Esports, and the Pittsburgh Knights. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> I like you're on point today. Yeah, I even have to call it. You draw Phase Clan straight away <laughs> into Pool A. And the interesting thing to note here in terms of the way the format works, I don't want to talk about it too much. Yeah. I know we'll talk about it a, a little bit later on, but the top two teams from auto groups qualify. auto qualify, bottom two don't. So already Pool A getting a bit spicy. Yeah, Pool A is definitely spicy, and obviously when you talk about phase, they made that team change. They they go yes. for it. They go for that young talent and sell him. They drop methods. We'll see if it's going to pay off here because that team, that Pool A right now is looking dangerous. G2, they will be drawn into Pool B, and obviously, yeah, you heard Joe talk a little bit about young talent. Well, we know young talent definitely works out this year. We saw it with Dashi uh, for FaZe. They're looking for a similar story, Phil. Yeah, and I think, I, I don't think it's necessarily the wrong move. You know, when something's not working, you make that change. It's, you know, a 5v5 game now. You've got to come together as a team. And FaZe are one to kind of say, you know what? Maybe we did something wrong. But Methods himself, obviously, uh, finds himself under G2. Talking to G2 now goes into B with Envy and Lightning Pandas. I actually think that's kind of maybe a win-win on situations for, for G2 and FaZe because I feel like... Like methods maybe a bit more comfortable there, but sure. we'll have to wait and see. Well, now you can see Pittsburgh Knights, they have been drawn as well, uh, which leaves just you are you uh, left as well, so they will be drawn back down into Pool D. Uh, and in terms of, yes, we don't have that many teams left, but I think, are we all kind of in agreement so far? Pool A is is probably looking like the, the scary one so yeah, far? Yeah, I think yeah. Pool A or B, absolutely. I think uh, G2, they've picked up a couple of he heavy True. hitters and methods in Lacefield. When you first looked at that roster when they went into Vegas, there was a ton of pressure on guys like Decimate and Blastful to really you know, pick up the slaying power for them. So they made a couple adjustments. I think Chino's in a much more comfortable place. I'd watch my eyes for G2 Esports. Okay, fair enough. Uh, still uh, four spots left for each of our pools, and that gives us uh, pot E. That consists of Mind Freak, Mazer Gaming, Heretics, and Accelerate GG. Heretics is a team I was uh, personally very, very impressed by what we saw at Vegas. And Mind Freak is going to be the first team drawn. They will go down, I believe, into uh, Pool D. Uh, and in terms of Mind Freak, Joe, a uh, team again, uh, a couple of changes. Uh, a brand new roster. Let me just read this out to you, this new roster, right? Beaston, Fida, Swifty, Shox, and Luca. What you don't recognize, you don't recognize Buzzo, right? He's moved into that coaching role, and uh, you don't recognize Excite either. So a couple of new names, Mind Freak, they're going for that new talent. We'll see if that will pay off. Now, for the next team being drawn, Accelerate. Okay, Accelerate GG. So two teams left in that potty, of course, uh, Mazer and Heretics. Heretics, the, the Spanish squad, excited to see uh, which pool they fall into. Uh, if it's pool A, oh, Lord, that is going to be very, very scary, Phil. It is. Uh, but uh, in terms of Heretics' gameplay, I, I, I was very, very impressed with what sort of Vegas. Yeah, it's different. It's aggressive. It is a bit wild, and we'll see, of course, where Heretics go. Accelerate was actually a team that I got to cast over a lot of Vegas. Okay. You know, names that you are familiar with, Fastball, like BZ, Emery's, I believe, and Profizi. These guys, they, they just seem to be clicking well, and I, I think the 5v5 change for them has improve them. Uh, again, excited to see where Accelerate can go. All right, Nameless, we got Mazer Gaming and Heretics left. Who falls into Pool B? <laughs> the form. The it's, form. Form. it's beautiful it's form. form. It's beautiful form. Heretics. Okay, Heretics, they fall into Pool B. Mazer Gaming, of course, uh, is there left at Pot E. Uh, Nameless, you can draw it just to, you know, for formality's sake, but they will fall into Pool A. Uh, and in terms of uh, Mazer, Joe, uh, any players kind of stand out to you on that roster? Uh, I think Rambi and Teddy Rex, obviously that duo, they've really made their way up uh, up the scales, and this is another opportunity for them. I mean, when you talk about these next couple of pots that we're going to go through, who's going to bring the upset poten potential? Because, again, only 12 teams will make it. That would say, what, seeds 17 through, you know, 28, 30, where we're going through. Are these teams going to upset those who placed very, very well right. at Vegas?
That's basically what you're trying to do, right? Just survive mm -hmm. at least the, yeah. the first group. Don't finish bottom two, and then you'll advance through to a, a bracket play. But moving forward, pot F. Uh, we have Midnight, Tainted Minds, Imperial, and FC Black. A lot of talk, of course, around that FC Black. And, well, there you go. Speak of the devil, FC Black, the, the first team drawn. Yeah, uh, again, some fantastic plays on here. Phantoms, Marsh, Asim, again, to read it out for you. Gravity and Tish. These are players which, you know, FaZe Clan clearly believe in. To be under that roster, that, that name, that organization, that says something. I think these guys got a lot to live up to. But of course, moving swiftly on, I believe Tainted Mines. Okay. All right. Tainted Mines. Still two more teams left in that pot of uh, Midnight and Pearl. But and you've been busy drawing. Uh, but I know you're you're a wise, wise man when it comes to Call of Duty Esports. So I'm just curious. In terms of the pools so far, we'll take a look at them again. Anything kind of catching your eye so far? Uh, I mean, I think that that pool A is already kind of crazy. You got <laughs> both A's. You got both <laughs> A's teams. You got Mazer, Reciprocity team. I mean, it's insane. Yikes. And then. Also, like, I mean, all the pools are, are tough, right? These are the best teams in the world. But, I mean, I'm looking at pool C as well. Like, Pittsburgh Knights, they've looked pretty good. 100 Thieves, we'll see if they've turned it around. And then Straight Rippin is a team that, you know, did they peak at Vegas? What is their actual peak? We don't know what their potential is just yet. So, I mean, all these groups are, are insane to me. But pool A just stands out. In, in, you know, Definitely does. Fashion. Definitely does. Of course, 28 teams, 12 make it to the Pro League. It's going to be a crazy five days of the Pro League qualifier, but moving forward, uh, next team drawn is going to be Midnight. Midnight will fall into Pool C. That leaves Imperial left. They will drop into Pool D. Uh, but talking a, a little bit about Midnight, Phil, any any big players stand out to you there? Again, team that I got to cast over at Vegas. Uh, for me, Pazellian was a player that kind of stood out, but Lama God is that player to kind of go off and drop those big numbers. But, but again, it's, you know, how much impact can one player you know, have on a game now, and for me, uh, I think I'm looking at Lama God to do some big stuff there. And on there, of course, that uh, Imperial pulled from uh, Nameless just for the formality, and that leaves Pot G. Just two more pots left. Eight teams need to be drafted. Here's a look at our pools so far. Pot G, that consists of Team Divine, Overtime, Fact Revolution, and Movie Star Riders. And this, uh, Joe, is kind of where we get down to the teams that clutched up. They clutched up in Vegas. They they made yeah. their, their spot. They secured their spot into the qualifier. The question of can they upset some of the other teams? I, I mean, when you're looking at these next sets of teams, it's they just wanted to get to this point, right? And they were able to do that. And as you said, I mean, can they do it? I mean, are, do any of these teams have the upset potential? Or are they just going to get knocked out in pool play? Well, Movie Star Riders, that's the first to be pulled. Nameless, the second... We'll see. Still Team Divine Overtime Effect Revolution uh, left in overtime. G. And it's going to be overtime, of course. Uh, in, in terms of uh, Movie Star Riders, the Spanish squad, Phil. Yeah. Uh, the Spaniards, they came out in full force at Vegas. And I, I'm kind of praying. I want to see some Spanish representation. I mean, they come out in full force, but so do their fans. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. When when the Spanish play, the fans get behind them. That's what's exciting. But I think it's it's important to highlight. These are the teams that you maybe expect not to make it. You know, these that could finish bottom two as we draw them in our final two spots. But a lot to prove. Some very, very tough competition. And just look at how many good teams we've got. Yeah. Movie Star Riders in D. Over time and C. Well, Team Divine, Fact Revolution. The two teams left uh, in Revolution. Pot G. And it will be Fact Revolution uh, drawn. It will be. And that leaves uh, Team Divine, of course, to, to fill that final spot. Uh, and in terms of uh, those two teams, Joe, I'm actually, it's kind of a similar question. Any big names stand out? Any names that maybe... Uh, fans may be familiar with? I mean, when you look at Fact Revolution, you look at, like, guys like Maple, who played with Tommy last year, Sonny B, okay. a guy who didn't really, wasn't in the Pro League last year, maybe had an off year, but the year before that, that's when Sonny B played with the Twins on Fnatic. So, definitely some guys who, if they can perform at their highest level, maybe they can cause some upsets. Well, Team Divine, as I said, they fall into pool A, but that leaves one final pot. Pot H, Enigma 6, Giants, Nation of Power, out Cold Gaming, the first one will be drawn into what is a pretty scary pool A. Oh, <laughs> that was the one. That was, that the, was like, oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, brother. Pool A remember, is insane. Remember, remember when I said you gave us good pools? Well, you gave us a very stacked pool A. Thank you very much, Nameless. E6 uh, go into what I think we're going to all consider now maybe what is the, the group of death. 100%. Of death, yeah. Right? That's a scary, scary pool. Uh, Giants Nation of Power and Out Cold Gaming is going to be Giants. Uh, they are drawn into Pool B, which I believe is that where Heretics are. So we do have a, a little bit of a Spanish fight there in Pool B. Yeah, we do. And, and again, Giants are a team which a lot will underestimate. But the likes of Giants and Heretics going up against each other, they're going to know each other, you know, inside and out. But it's what they can do against the rest of the competition that I'm here. Kind of excited about the likes of Giants versus G2, Envy, Lightning, Pandas. Insane, to say the least. But very tough group, B. Well, just uh, two more teams. Nation of Power, Out Cold Gaming. Maybe if you could uh, do the honors. Out cold. Out cold gaming. 
drawn into Pool C, which leaves that Nation of Power, which will go into the final spot into Pool D. Again, we'll let you uh, pull it just for the formality's sake, so we know it's there. And uh, that completes the, the pool draws. We know our pools now, and uh, you've heard us mention it a couple of times, but that pool A, that is a scary, scary place to be, and it's so important to reiterate the importance here. The top two from the pools will automatically qualify for group play. The bottom two will be knocked out. Everybody else in the middle will progress the forward towards some bracket play games, but uh, I mean, pool A, like, like we said, Joe, scary, scary place to be. But this is what you want if you're one of these teams. You're playing a minimum, Ben, a minimum six games for to, to get your chance into that pro league qualifier it's not one or two to say you didn't make the league it is six this is as much as you could ask for to get into a league so we'll have to just see it comes down to day to day that's all it is who can play best on that day and obviously in terms of qualifiers i know uh, three former players you've all been a part of them uh, i know you never you never lost one you only lost one Some heartbreak i think you're 100 percent because you only you actually played in one qualifier and you you won your qualifier i right? cannot be compared to these two this is unfair however okay. i will say qualify there's the scary because that's where right. the nerve setting and especially for these guys i think it's like you, the rest of your year is being set up right now you need over the next i don't know days, weeks, whatever, you need to be putting that time in. I'm sure they all are, but 28 teams are obviously coming here, and uh, only a select few will go through, of course, 12, but it's going to be tough. It's, uh, it's hard to send some home. Well, a lot of pressure on the line. We know our pools. Only one thing remains. The one question from our 28 teams that we have right now, which 12 will make it into the Pro League? That concludes the draw show. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me, and we'll see you at the Pro League Qualifier.